what's going on YouTube um, I'm gonna be doing th th this video here is gonna be an all-in-one again just like last week uh, I don't have too many books to show and stuff so I'm gonna combine my pull list the new books I picked up and also the back issues and eBay purchases and all that so um, I don't know if they're all in any particular order or anything so I'll just go through them and I'll uh, you know tell you know I think most of these are the pull lists at first so uh, yeah let me just get these first out of the way okay here are some uh, new books I picked up this week um, uh, from the pull list on Wednesday whatever first I got the amazing spider-man renew your vows this is got a young variant um, oh, I also I, I didn't pick up the regular cover or anything like that I did get the uh, Campbell cover so that was pretty cool uh, I think I paid like th actually I think I paid $39.99 for this or maybe it was $29.99 I think it was I can't remember it's either one, one or the other I, I, I don't know I'm, I'm starting I think uh, I know, some reason I'm thinking it was $29.99 but uh, whatever and then unfortunately oh this one here I picked up it wasn't like a new book that came like, I don't know if it's a new book but it's a GameStop exclusive uh, I, I got this with my reward points. I'm not sure if I show this already. I don't think I did because I think I got it within the last week. So this was 8,000 points. I got it from GameStop. Um, actually, I might as well show this one now too. Uh, I got this one. This is the in-store exclusive for Secret Wars. Uh, now, I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of pissed off about this. I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. Uh, my local GameStop, which is right across from my local comic book store, the manager there also goes into the comic book store and I had to buy this at the comic book store for ten dollars even though in the store it's five dollars because the manager there takes the books from the store and sells them to the comic book store makes a couple bucks prior and the comic book store sells them for ten bucks that is fucked up excuse my language but I don't know I, I kind of almost want to complain to the uh, management or the uh, higher-ups at GameStop in the air like regional or something like that whatever you know cause that's screwed up you know uh, for him to take books that are supposed to be stole, sold in, to the customers at GameStop for five dollars for him to take the stack of books and go over to the comic book store and sell them himself is just screwed up I, I don't know I, I, I just have a bad taste in my mouth about that now so I don't know um, yeah, so enough about that. But I did pay ten bucks for it, and it's actually going for a little bit more than that online already. But I should have only had to pay five out of the GameStop. Um, well, no, I'm not supposed to show this one too. I went to the uh, GameStop yesterday, and I already picked this one up. I already have a copy of this, but they had one more of these left, so I picked it up. This is Star Wars number four. This is the in-store exclusive. So I picked another one of them up. I have two now. Okay. Uh, Secret Wars number three, no big deal. This is also the variant, the uh, uh, action figure variant. Um, oh, I, got, I did get one more book for the uh, Renew Your Vows one. I got the uh, action figure cover for that one too. Uh, I'm basically picking up all the action figure covers that I can. Um, got the uh, action figure cover for Little Marvel, A vs X, you know, giant size, whatever. Oh, I picked up a back issue. Somehow I was going through the store. I was looking at their back issue, you know, all, all the books from you know with the last weeks or the last couple months or whatever. Um, just all the back issues for the newer books. Uh, and I realized somehow I didn't pick up Damon number seven. I don't know how I miss issues sometimes. It's just like because I go in there and I look at all the all, I go through each book that comes out every week, whether or not they're on my pull list or not. I still go up because just to make sure I'm getting them and somehow I still mix bo miss books I don't know how uh, I picked up the number six of the Autumn Lands Tooth and Claw um, I've been picking up every one I usually pick up both covers but I didn't this time so I just picked up the regular A, a cover whatever it was um, Big Man Plans this is the one I was thinking of when I was talking before in previous videos about the uh, the one Gagoon or something like that. I thought I was picking up this one, but this is the new one uh, for this is number three. So picked up number three, Jupiter Circle. Just got the regular cover. Uh, this is a pretty cool cover. This is uh, the new Nail Biter number thirteen. Pretty cool cover. I think that this was the only cover that came out. 
um, for it. And I think this is, yeah, I got a couple more too. Yeah. Okay. Don't have too many more new books, but Death Vigil. I don't know. I really like this book. Um, I've been reading it. You know, this is number seven, but you know, I've been reading this one religiously. Uh, I, I, I'm not really behind on this book at all. So uh, it's. I don't know. I really like it a lot. Airboy number one. Um, I didn't pull this. He put this in my pull list because he said it was pretty good, and I don't know. I decided to keep it and check it out. Um, I looked and I looked online. And I think there was actually other series before that. This isn't like the first time this book has come out, uh, like from other publishers. And I don't know. I'll have to read it though. Uh, new Batman Arkham Knight number five. Now here you go. Uh, Star Wars number six. Now I heard something about this being like a first appearance of Han Solo's wife or something like that or whatever it is. I picked up this one. Um, they didn't have the. Uh, I, I don't know what it is. My store is like weird. He keeps telling me that he, that they can't get the the uh, the action figure variants of these because you got to buy some like outrageous number of books or something like that. And they, and they didn't have the R two D two cover, so I had to buy. I bought two of them online. I paid like eight bucks a piece for them. So I picked I picked up two of them just in case, and I'm thinking about going down and buying a couple more of these because they have a whole stack of them at my local, um, just in case you know maybe buy like two or three more, um, you never know. So as far as I know, it's not really that. I mean, it's not really actually. You know what? That's not true. I saw one of these selling for like ten, eleven dollars already online. But oh well, got the new bunker, awesome series. Even though I'm a little behind on this, but you know it's a really, really good series. I heard something a while back about that, this being a TV show or something. I don't know if it's true. Okay, um, and that's all the new books I believe I got um, that, from the new books just came out. Um, I don't know why I have this one here, but I think I showed this last time. But um, I still haven't been able to find this on my. Uh, hasn't been listed on my uh, so comic uh, database software, whatever. Um, it's Elephant Man Shots number one. I don't know, I have it sitting out though because I haven't entered it. Just in case I didn't show, but I'm pretty sure I did. Now I pulled these out of like back issue bins, like uh, for the small press back issues. And I just thought they were pretty cool. So don't even look at the price. I, I rebagged, reused some bags for this. Uh, this is Fubar by the Sword number one and number two. I just thought they were pretty cool covers. I don't know, look pretty gory, like zombie stuff. and. Figured I'd check it out and read it, and they, and they, they were only less than cover price. Uh, so this is the winter special. So also this is for I don't know Tim Morant um, has showed these books numerous times, and um, he's talked about you know liking them. So I got the whole series. They had the whole series in the back issue bin, so I picked them up. This is Terminal Hero. I, I know Tim Morant's like a Peter Milligan fan, or so I figured I'd check him out since he likes them. I figured I'd check him out since they had every one. Why not two, three, four, five, six. And I got them for less than cover price. I think they're like 20% off when you buy the back issue bins for my discount. Um, something like that, I'm not sure. So whatever 20% of the, the cover is what I probably got them for. Get out of the way. Okay, now we're getting some of the, the, my eBay purchases and uh, also some books I've gotten from my local and like I said I don't have too many of these so and there are no these are in no particular order I picked this one up for 13 bucks and this is in really, really nice condition uh, got a lot of a few few not a lot I mean a few little issues at the top there but the rest of it is I mean I took it out and I was so surprised at how it's Aquaman number 21 I was so surprised how nice a condition this is in um, so it's one of the ones I needed. They had a whole, they had a bunch of Aquaman. Well, that, this is the only one I need. I got this one, and where's the other one at? Huh. Oh, I got that one, and I got this one for 18. So this is number 18. I got 18 for 18 dollars, and I got 21 for what did I say? What 13? So, and they're both in really nice can Oh, pretty. Oh, this one's not as good. Hmm. Okay, this was in pretty nice. This is probably mid grade. This one's definitely higher than mid grade. 
But yeah, so I, I got two issues. I need it. I don't, I don't need too many. I think I only need maybe a handful of the issues between 1 and one and 20 or 1 and 25 or something like that. So I picked this one up online. I can't remember how much I paid for. I know it was like probably 12 bucks, 15 bucks, something like that. Um, and I realized after I got it in the mail, I don't know why I didn't look it up first, but I already have this issue. I'll have to see, pull out my other issues and see which one's nicer. But when I bought that, I kind of, I was bidding on other books trying to make, you know, I always try to uh, do my, um, make the shipping, you know, worth it, you know. So I should kind of buy, try to buy a number of books from the same seller. But uh, I, this, this is this this one here and the one this one here is the only books I actually won. I was bidding on some other Thor books too, but I didn't win them. Um, but this is number thirty-four. Now this is supposed to be like the real first team up of the Defenders. So, and this is probably a mid-grade, maybe a five, maybe oh probably a six, maybe closer to a six. But I mean, it's got some. Uh, uh, maybe a six it could be around a six so around there though um, and I paid like 30 bucks for this um, this thing has gone up in price since you know all the movie thing I, I guess there's something about a Defenders movie or something like that so but this is supposed to be the very first team up of the Defenders or something uh, so we'll see. I don't know that's what I heard so okay and this all the rest of these books here I got um, just recent my local my local when I went into uh, to um, pick up some treasury bags and boards actually uh, to you know bag and board my uh, bunch of my treasury bo books I have on um, that I've been waiting on for a long time they had to order them it's taken like two months to get these bags and boards so but when in there he told me that he had another uh, a box like long box from another store that they had just thrown a bunch of stuff in the box and brought it here and they hadn't gone through and priced them yet so he let me look through it and uh, actually that's where the uh, Aquaman came from but there was more so I got this now I um, know I should tell you actually I didn't pay 18 for that I got one price on that at number 18 then I got Tales of Suspense number 69. Uh, so I got that. And then I got the Punisher number 5. And they, these are this one. All these Punishers here are all in really nice condition. Number 3, probably near mint. Uh, and number one. Now I do have number two and four, which I got recently at a flea market, I believe I got them at, and they were like nothing. I didn't pay much for. But they had the whole set, one to five, I mean, you know, and um, I only needed these, and he kind of gave me a little hassle about buying, splitting up a set, but whatever. You know, that's all I needed, and I wasn't going to pay, because he was charging like $40 for this is the price he had on it. Um, like 16 for that and like uh, 14 for that or something you know but I didn't pay that um, also I picked up Daredevil 150 this is the first appearance of the Paladin um, and this is pretty nice condition this is definitely a very a very fine condition book um, and it's got a couple little ticks so I would that's why I would put it in a uh, very fine but uh yeah, I can't remember how much. I think ten dollars. Yeah, ten dollars he wanted for that. So that's the price he had on that. And then I got this giant size Spider-Man and the Punisher number four. This is uh, the third appearance, I believe, of the Punisher. Um, and this is there was actually like four copies of this in the box. And this was the nicest one, which isn't that great, but it's definitely a mid-grade. Um, it's got some issues on the spine and stuff, but. And some um, bending there in the corner, minor bending or creasing, whatever. Uh, so I think he charged me twelve dollars for this one. I'm pretty sure. Or no, that, that's the price he had on my man. That's not why I charge. Something like that. I can't remember. But then I saw this and I got this. This is Tales of Spence '97. This is the first Whiplash. Um, and this book is, you know, this book was up in price back when the, I think it's, 
Iron Man number two with stuff, you know, whatever. But uh, this one here is in pretty nice condition, um, except for the, the this like maybe some of the browning on the page, the discoloration on the cover. Um, this book is pretty tight. I'm here. I'll kind of try to give you a show. Look at that spot spine. If you can see that, there's like no tick marks on there. Maybe a, one or two, but if you look at the discoloration. Um, the whites aren't bright white, um, but yeah, it's pretty nice, and I could probably sell this on eBay for anywhere fifty to seventy-five dollars. You know, maybe I don't know, maybe in this condition, maybe a little bit higher, I, I, like maybe up to seventy-five. I don't know. That, that's what I would think. I looked online. I looked at a, a few of them. And he only had a price tag on this for 25 bucks. Like I said, that's not what I paid altogether. So, and then, then the last book I got, this is the last book I got um, of everything, you know, but this is the last book from that is uh, Batman Detectives number 474. And he charged me 40 bucks. Well, he had a price tag of $40 on this one. So I got all these books, um, which totaled um, with the price tags he had on them, $200. I got them down to 160 and then I had a gift thing like from stickers and you, I have those, they do this thing that once you spend so much money they give you a sticker on your little card when you fill the card up you get a discount. Um, well this one was for $15 so I got this, $15 of that so I paid $145 for all these which I think is pretty good. So especially that Detective Comics, this is the one I was, I've was i been looking for quite a while, I just wasn't willing to pay the price that some people were charging online or asking online so but yeah so that's all of them um but i do have a couple more things to show real quick um that are not comic books but they're i got some more statues so i'll show them first one is a new harley quinn it's the new uh what's it called cover girls uh DC Comics cover girls. You know, I have the uh, Firestar, or no, I'm sorry, is it Firestar? Something like that. Yeah, I think it's Firestar. Star, or Star Sapphire. I have this first Star Sapphire. First, no, I'm sorry. Not Star Sapphire. What the hell's their name? Um, is it Starfire? I don't know. I can't remember. Her. There you go. I have that one, and I have the mirror too already. The, 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 that's the ones I have for this collection series whatever so I got this one though and I paid $90 for it so it was like a $99 and then I got my 10% so $90 so that's that one I got four of these all together uh, four statues oh if you guys remember on my last video I also showed this um, here I'll put it down oh shit that's not good Okay, that was my Deadpool that I showed last time. Thank God nothing broke. But uh, fell apart. So this is the... Uh, oh, the magnet fell out. Okay, but yeah, this was the Deadpool I showed last time. I'll have to put it all back together. Um, but this is a new one I got. It's the exact same thing. However, it's the X-Force black or gray and black costume, whatever. So that's pretty cool, um, and I got this for this about the same price. I got the other one, actually the exact same price. It was um, fifty fifty four dollars, but yeah, so exact same thing, just in different coloring. I got that. Can't believe I dropped that. And then I got these two, some more of those bush bushujo, whatever they're called. Got this one. Now this one was only $45. So that's my dog scratching the door. This is a Batgirl or Batwoman, whatever. Um, it was only 45 bucks, so I picked that one up. I, guess, I think this is a little bit older. It, it's not brand new. Didn't, I mean, it came out before, a, a while ago, So, but I just picked this one up. It was new in the box. I got it for 45 bucks, And that's been shipping. I got that one also. And then the last one I got which I actually bought two weeks ago. I just got in the mail and it's pretty hot. So there you go. 
Starfire. That's it. <laughs> I don't know what the same flyers. Same thing. But uh, that one there is the Bushujo, whatever they're called, the PVC ones. So it's pretty cool. Look at that. I don't know if, what the light's like on this. It looks dark to me when I'm looking in the screen. But yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty hot. The only thing with this um, is that it's a little wobbly for the stand because it doesn't have the stand like these or just like a round base and but yeah so it just I look I mean look at the hair on that it's just so cool the way it's done um I don't know what the hell that was oh yeah so it's a little wobbly yeah it's just, things keep falling apart on this thing oh there you go okay no big deal on that um yeah so if you look it's a little wobbly so, but I don't know. It'll, it'll stay okay once I put it in the case somewhere. So that's all I got, though, guys. Um, I do have more coming. Um, I got one more thing coming. I just haven't uh, got it yet. I just bought it the other day. I got one more of these. Uh, the Bush, Bushuda, uh I actually got the... Uh, what's it called? The um, Mystique one. Sorry, guys. I'm, I, it's been a long day so far. It's only, been, it's only noontime right now. Uh, but yeah, I got the, the uh, Mystique one coming, the one with the white thing uh, that's th kind of hard to find and when you do find them, they're pricey, so um, but I'll show that next week. So yeah, thanks guys for watching and I will see you later. Goodbye. Oh wait, I got one more thing to show. I actually realized I missed it last week when I showed my, show my books. I did get one other thing last week. Um... It's the uh, Elric Stormbringer. This is the next graphic novel. I got the first one. Um, Ruby Throne a while back. Uh, maybe a month or two ago. And then a new one just came out last week. Or two weeks ago, whatever it was. And I got this. You know, and you guys know I'm, I'm a fan of Elric. Been, uh, I've been reading them for, for a long time. For the novels and stuff. So I started buying the books and everything too. So, But yeah, that's it guys. Uh, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.